Having trouble playing defense in Madden 24? Help me! Help me! Whether you can't stop the run, or having trouble stopping the pass, this is the video for you. So if you want to see 12 tips for better defense that you can do on every play, Got hey, stick around after the intro. The for the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The plays I'm going to be using in today's video can once again be found in my Denver Broncos offense and Las Vegas Raiders defensive ebooks. If you guys want more help, you can download these or any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pinned comment. In today's game, we have a division rivalry matchup between two of the best teams and defenses in the game with my undefeated Philadelphia Eagles, Go Birds, and the hated rival Dallas Cowboys, who just lost to a lowly, talentless Cardinals team that is probably tanked for draft picks. So this game is a perfect opportunity for me to poke fun. But before I do, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more, please Make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section as it really helps out the channel and I appreciate all the support. I started this game out on offense, but my first tip is to always stop the run first. To do this really comes down to how you pinch and spread your defensive line and linebackers as it has several advantages and disadvantages that it creates based on whether you use it on the right or wrong time. My opponent comes out a very good defense that looks like the 4-3 even 6-1 and he pinches the defensive line to take away any inside run lanes. It works, but this setup doesn't have any outside containment, allowing me just to go right around his lineman to the outside side and that is because my lineman has outside leverage at the start of the play which he could take away simply by aligning his linebackers outside of my tackle but he probably doesn't want to do that based on the fact that it would leave this receiver too much space before the snap the shortest distance between two points is a straight line, so you always want to stop the run first. To do that, you always want to set up your defense in a way that allows you to control and take away any inside gaps by closing them up and also controlling the outside leverage by having someone on the outside edge of the tackles or the blocking tight ends. And since he doesn't have that, guess where I run the ball? And since I did that on the first play, he doesn't even pinch his line on the next play. And you can see several areas of opportunity in his run defense due to poor alignment of this defense. If I wanted to here, I could run it right back around the defensive line again or right up the middle. But since he's running a cover four defense, I decide just to throw it instead since cover four is definitely the best run defense in the game. As the safeties will typically drop down and play the run like extra linebackers, making it much harder to run on. But I'll get into that more when I'm on defense. On the next play, we see the importance of creating pressure on every single play. At minimum, you want to send at least four linemen like he does here. But if you pinch the defensive line on a pass play, you will get no pressure at all. And that's by design. Every adjustment you make on defense will have a strength and a weakness or more accurately, a benefit and a penalty associated if you guess wrong. Like here, he will stop inside run plays better, but it'll also make it easier to run outside or in this case, pass block outside as it makes it easy for the quarterback to just roll out of the pocket since my offensive line have outside leverage once again and I could sit here all day and wait for someone to get open as someone always eventually will yes I did but it was your fault if I go back to the play and look at his user he's doing nothing Number one, he's covering nobody. As a user, you should always be actively trying to cut off routes, as he's really doing nothing while thinking that he's spying me. Number one, I could probably make this guy miss if I wanted to, but if he's spying me, what is the guy behind him doing? So that's two defenders doing absolutely nothing. If he was actively looking for routes instead of watching me, he would have saw that there's only one intermediate route available on the play and he would have cut that off. He also should have either blissed me with his user or even better, pushed in the right stick to send the computer defender while he tries to cut off this route. From here though, he learns and adapts by using the same play while blitzing the outside linebackers this time, which brings me to my next tip that he actually does right, and that's mix it up. You never want to get predictable, so if you're getting beat by something, just mix up your coverages or your adjustments. But he does it again on the next play, and this time I'm ready for it as I get it out to the running back, and we get it all back and then some, because he became predictable. My next tip is to bend but don't break. Yards are empty calories, and field goals lose games, so it's okay to let your opponent drive the length of the field just as long as you stop them in the red zone. As most Madden players will go for it down here anyways and most likely turn it over on downs. But defense gets easier in a phone booth anyways as you no longer have to cover the entire field and you know exactly what depth your opponent is going to attack as my opponent wisely switches to cover two hard flats to take away outside throws on the next play. Nope. 
In the red zone, you can do extra stuff like play underneath or press the secondary, bring all the safeties down inside of the box because they can't get beat deep. You always have the 12th man on defense, which is the sideline in the back of the end zone, and they are undefeated. They make every single tackle and they play every ball perfectly, so use them correctly. The next play that I call is designed to beat cover two, where the streak is meant to pull back the safety and the flat route is meant to pull the cornerback down so that the corner route can get open in that space. Even this setup can't create enough space for a comfortable throw as I hold it and take a sack instead of forcing a possible interception. Sometimes it's easier to score from further away and I should have scored from here but I get some mad BS that cost me a touchdown as the wide receiver was wide open and the ball was inside the reticle but it triggered some sort of out of reach animation like how is a perfect accuracy throw out of reach at the exact same time. <coughs> so I have to settle for a field goal instead but remember field goals eventually lose games. On defense, I'll start by using my 3-4 odd scheme as this will allow me to control both inside gaps and outside leverage much better on a given play. On the first play though, I didn't have outside leverage on the one side as I expected the cover 2 cornerback to help out and hold that down on the weak side, but it didn't work out as he starts the game with a big run. But defense is all about learning your opponent's tendencies as everyone has them. The easiest way to do this is simply keep track, as he runs on the next play as well. Since he started with two straight run plays, I'm going to assume that he is a run first player until he proves otherwise. If he started with two straight pass plays I would assume he's a passer but he runs on the next play proving my theory correct and he even ran the exact same play which will eventually make him even more predictable your goal as a defender is to get your opponent into predictable situations like red zone third and long fourth and long because third and fourth and short are too easy to convert as he shows me a new wrinkle in his offense by passing for the first time to get the first down and then some as he puts me in the spin cycle since he's been mostly running to the outside I don't pinch my defensive line or linebackers anymore so I can maintain this outside shoulder to contain it better I also put my defensive end on a hard flat so he can get outside and help out in the next play as we shut him down for a huge loss. To the entry eye may have looked like I missed that tackle and I did but it was a calculated miss as my main concern was to cut off the outside since I knew I had help behind me. So my next tip is to play team defense by knowing where your teammates are they can help you out as me forcing this cut back and not allowing him to get outside still made the play. My next tip is how to read an offense. You never really know what play your opponent is going to run or where they're going to run it to but there are several indicators that can give you a pretty good guess. Number one, most people run their offense to the open side of the field like we talked about earlier. The sideline is undefeated and it never misses a tackle. So if you're playing against a running player like this, he'll most likely run to the side that has more real estate as he tries to stretch it out in the next play, but we are all over and cut off for another loss. On the next play, he comes out in a bunch formation, which brings me to my next indicator for reading an offense, and that is where are the receivers. Now that I have him in a predictable third and long situation, he will most likely have to pass. So I only need to know where to cover, and since he has three receivers on the one side and only one receiver on the other side that means there's a 75% chance of passing on this side compared to only 25% on the other and since he's on the short side of the field these receivers are most likely going to cross the field to where the most real estate is but since he ran the entire drive I still set up my run defense first by coming out and cover four so the safeties will help out in run support and he runs it again just to take a field goal but remember eventually field goals will lose games Back on offense, I'm trying a new scheme, but it's not working out as I throw an interception right away. So right back to defense, my opponent is coming out in a brand new scheme with multiple tight ends on the strong side. So I pinch my D-line and spread my linebackers as best I can because I need to maintain outside leverage over the strong side tight ends. I will also use the backside linebacker because I know that if he runs it to the strong side, I will need as many defenders over there as possible and I can always sprint to that side to help out. I also hard flat on the edge so that the defenders will stay low at the line of scrimmage and on the very next play he doesn't get much. And this is the first time he tries to pass all game. I figure he will try to pass again on the next play but this was a bad read by me as players always repeat success and change failure. And since that last play was run so poorly he's obviously going to switch back to running the ball which is where he's had the most success. And since he's running way better he's going to continue. So before the next play I switch back to cover four and we shut him down again before he throws me a curveball on the next play by motioning out his running back but this is a huge benefit to me as it takes away any threat of a run making his offense much easier to read. So now I can set up my pass defense and guess pass, but of course he runs with the quarterback on the very next play. And fuck this guy! Before going right back to running the ball, but my alignment is now taking all that away as we have the perfect combination of inside gap control and outside leverage by pinching the D-line and spraying the linebackers to get into a third and ten after not getting any yards. And now in another predictable third and long situation, since he hasn't gotten any yards, he's going to change failure once again and come out in an empty backfield look, which is an obvious pass play. So I guess pass, but he runs what is essentially another run play in a wide receiver screen to barely get the first and I never saw it coming since I have no idea what his passing game looks like. But now he's creating a tendency where he runs mostly screens so on the next play he tries to run a screen play again and we're all over it to get him for a huge loss. He passes on the next play as well expanding his offense a bit with a drag downfield before hitting a speed out route in the very next play to get in the field goal range. 
And if I had Dak Prescott as a QB, I'd probably pass cautiously too. I mean, did you see that interception he threw? <laughs> That's terrible. As he happily kicks a field goal to take the lead, but once again, field goals eventually lose games. He gets the ball in the second half as well, and I decide to switch defenses, but that doesn't change my need to maintain gaps and leverage, as I set this defense up the exact same way, as this edge defender and blitzing cornerback will do that just fine, and he is only going backwards now. Now in third and long, I can abandon my run fits entirely and spread my line for better pass rush for the first time in this game. I'm also going to guess pass for the first time in this game, as guessing pass and run can give you a huge benefit, but also a penalty once again. So make sure that you only use these when you're sure what your opponent is going to do as my opponent runs with the quarterback once again nope. before he punts it away on offense his blitz and the cowboys speed is giving me huge problems as he gets another big sack before we set up a huge play against his man zero blitz to get into scoring range before hitting the running back underneath one more time and scoring in the red zone on a drag to take the lead because remember field goals lose games hey, he switches offenses once again but this run blitz is locking everything up now as he has become very predictable at this point, so I really only have to defend the short field until he shows me something different, before he gets the craziest read option animation that I've ever seen. What the hell is that? And even he can't believe it. But he doesn't get to enjoy his lead long as we take this kick return to the house by going all the way around his kick return coverage on the very next play. And I kind of feel bad listening to this guy as I can hear the disappointment in his voice. God damn. You kick off. He tries a new run play on the next play, but we are shutting all that down now, and he has to pass on 3rd and 17, before a blown coverage by me lets him pick up a huge first down. He starts to open up his passing game a little more now, as he has seemed to completely abandon his run, since he was failing for most of the half, before he goes back to the RPO plays, as he needs a touchdown to win this game. And even though he's passing now, he is still a running player, so since that's his DNA, I know he will go back to it at some point, so I have to set up my run defense every single play and stick to it. And especially in the red zone where things get tight, as he runs on the next two plays, and he should have stuck with that, as he tries to hit the drag on the very next play, and that's the ball game. So that's the video. If you guys enjoyed the video and want to see more, please make sure to be subscribed, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section. It really helps out the channel, and I appreciate that. If you guys want to see more from the offenses and defensive schemes that I was using in today's gameplay, I will have breakdowns of them popping up on screen. Other than that, until next time, thanks for watching. Man, my shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.